Angela Wolf here, and we are behind the scenes, and the sun is out. It feels like spring, but it's not that in the temp. Just some sunniness. All right, so today I have a great show for you today. Remember this top? We actually designed this collar. Let me bring this up. She's a little messy today. I just threw her back on the dress form. So we designed this in Fashion Sewing Club. We designed the whole pattern. We did the neckline. Now, I know we're not the Fashion Sewing Club, but I need to hem this. And I figure you can all get a good lesson on hemming with a sweater knit, but in a little different fashion. So we're going to do that. And then for the second half of the show, Jeff from Craft Optics is going to be joining us again, not taking your questions, of course, but we're drawing one lucky winner to the WOW package. So it has been so much fun. Every once in a while, I would send you guys notes on Facebook or an email or on the blog, sending you to his social pages. We did this secretly, kind of. <laughs> so I hope he got a lot of comments from you because all of those comments have been filtered in to who the winner is. So you're able to enter by entering the contest, leaving a comment on the blog, uh, visiting other social channels, and a few other ways. But anyways, the contest is now closed. So don't even bother going there. We had a good couple weeks of that. And hopefully some of you took advantage of his great sale that he had in April. And Fashion Sewing Club members, you still have a discount in the club. So I see you all rolling in. I want to have this top, so I don't want to take too much time. So we have plenty of time for Jeff. So I have to ask you, this was going to be a bathing suit cover up, right? But it's really long. And after I looked at it, I would totally wear this with my new skinny jeans that we just made in class. So this is the kind of style I'm thinking of. Something that is a little bit loose on with some elastic, but get rid of all this excess. So I had an idea of how to design the bottom of this. This, this fabric frays like crazy. So I want to finish the edges. I'm going to fold it over double, which is kind of thick, but it won't be too bad. And when I do that, I also want, let me lift this up. I'll bring you back here. All right. I thought it would be very cute if there was a little extra here hanging over and then a little base. So this will be blousant, then there will be elastic, and then there will be a base. Now, how am I going to do that if this fabric frays so badly? Well, I have an idea, so let's give it a try. I haven't done this before on a sweater, so who knows, and especially because we're live. So I'll make sure I can see you all rolling in. Let's double check all the cameras. We're ready to cut, we're ready to sew, and we're ready to press. All right, we're all good, and all of the angles are good. Welcome, everyone. And I can see, boy, I love it when the wolf pack rolls in. And I love seeing you all talk to each other because I think I can't even imagine how many friends have been made from being part of the wolf pack. I mean, it's just amazing. And someone was on here the other day saying, well, how can I be in the wolf pack? You're here, you're talking, you are the wolf pack. <laughs> and it's the best group of people ever. Some sew, some don't, some just hang out and that's all good too. And now fishing season is in, so you could even be qualified in that. So, all right, let's go sew this top up. The first thing you have to do is measure. And I measured on myself. So I measured from my back down to where I want my elastic to go, but take a look on this dress form here. You want to measure on your back, and then I'm taking this out and up like this because I want it to be a blousant top. I don't want it to be tight with elastic. I want this to kind of billowy, blousant, <laughs> new word for the day. So I'm going to take this, measure kind of like this, and then how much more fabric do I want hanging down? Well, I'm wearing them with skinny jeans, so I kind of want it to cover up like half my tush at least. So it looks like about 25 inches to where the elastic is going to go. And then I want it to hang down another, let's just say 25 to 32. That would be seven inches. I have had my coffee today. So I need 25 plus seven. When I get to the cutting table and I forget, just remind me. But I would like to point out something. When I sew this together, look at how perfectly those stripes match up. And yes, they're opposite because there's no shoulder seam. So when it wraps around, although the stripes are the same width, this purple edge here, that's how it has to be. Unless I had a seam at the shoulder. 
So it's kind of cool. All right, so what I have here is some elastic. I've already measured around my waist of how tight I want this. And you need the elastic to be a little tight. If it's too loose with this heavy sweater, it'll hang funny. So I have my elastic. This is about half inch elastic. I've got a little tool I found in my stash. This thing is as old as Moses and it's easy to put the elastic in and pull it through that little hole. So I've got that, I've got the serger set up. So let's go cut this and then we'll take it to the sewing machine and market. So here we go. I'll meet you at the cutting table. All right, 25 plus seven, right? So I have my rulers here because this will depend on how thick my elastic is. Here's the top, this is the front, and then we have the back. Now, I can use the rulers, but I don't. I definitely wanna make sure that I cut along these lines that I have here. You can see how they're matched up. Sometimes if you lay these on top of each other and just use the rotary cutter, they could be off just a little bit. So this might be more of a scissor event. All right, 25 inches. There's the 25. This is where my elastic is going to go. So I'll remember that's on a purple line. That'll be easy to remember, right? Out of the way 25 to here then I need to go seven inches down which will be the little part that hangs over and then I want to do a double fold so there's seven plus seven plus a little bit to fold over for the hem my goodness that's almost this whole piece isn't it pretty close all right, so let's go to the 25 inch mark and the seven inch mark. And we're gonna press that up because I think we won't have to cut very much. That's right here on this purple line. Let's go press that and see what we have. Okay, Ooh, a little bright, making sure you're awake, that's all. By the way, while I'm doing this, make sure you leave your comments below why you would love to win these glasses, the wow package, because this has been just an awesome giveaway. Okay, there's that purple. So as I was showing you on the side seam, See how these panels are the same width? They're just opposite because I had to flip the fabric over. So they're lined up as good as they can, but you can't switch that around unless you make a seam. So now when I move to this side, it's on the silver. Why am I having this today? Because I really want to wear it this weekend and I'm really hoping that the weather improves. Besides, it's kind of colors of a uh, fishing lure. So maybe it'll bring us luck in the tournament this weekend. If it doesn't, don't tell Wynn about it. <laughs> okay, press all the way around. This is at the seven inch mark below the 25 inches. So we went down 25 inches, then I added seven inches. Not to like mess your brain up this morning. I know it's early for some of you. Make sure that that purple's all the way over. No, I don't have any more of this fabric. I see somebody asking. I do not. I bought this a long time ago. This just came out of my stash. Like it could be years. I don't know. Okay, so there's seven inches. Now, I want to mark this down. So that will be my fold. Then I'm going to go up seven inches because now this is going to tuck over like this. Make sense? 
but I'm going to sew the elastic up here. So it's a little different. So let's go up another seven inches back to the, so by taking it up another seven inches, we're back to that 25 inches from the back of the neckline. Seven inches takes us about in the middle of this purple right here. It's nice that this fabric has stripes on it. So we'll be cutting a little bit off. Unfortunately, we're cutting more off. I just spent like a week getting all of the sewing fuzz off of my studio floor. All right, yes, I'm using the clapper because that makes a nice crisp crease here. Making sure that I'm not missing something. I get confusing once you go to the other side here. All right, we're almost back around. Here it is. Boy, I thought, boy, this is taking forever. It's over here. Okay, so we pressed up at seven inches and then I went back up. Now we have, if I have this correct, there's my big fold for the bottom. See that? So I could add elastic here and still have this section down below hanging. And this part up here will, will be a little bit billowy. So this is the top of the top of the top, and this is the bottom. All right, so here, I just need to trim this off. At least you're not in the studio. You don't have to hold your breath for all this fuzzy. I'm leaving myself just about, I don't know, maybe an inch, because it unravels so quickly. Now I could run this through the serger to finish it, but it's gonna be encaptured in this, encaptured, that's the new word for the day, enclosed in the seam, so I'm not too worried about it. So those in the Fashion Sewing Club, how many of you actually made this top? It was super easy. I showed you how to draft it from scratch one big piece of fabric and two seams. Oh, you know what that means? No, it's not Jeopardy time. It means my iron just ran out of water. I love this iron. It actually tells you, go fill it up. But we don't need much more, so I won't worry about it. Yes, Laura Star, great iron. Fashion Sewing Club members, you also have a discount to that. Okay, so now we have our fold here. So this fold is at 25 inches from my back. You might be taller, so yours might be at a different place. Now I'm gonna take this, this was seven inches down. I'm gonna fold this up at that seven inch mark. And I'll, put a th I'll throw a few pins in here just to keep the placement. So it looks like it's gonna be right around this purple mark here. I want to leave a little opening. I'm going to leave a small opening in the side for my elastic. That's it. Making sure this is laying nice and flat. This stuff can really be a little bit of a pain to work with. So I'm going to actually go to the other side seam just to make sure everything's laying flat. And then I'll ease in some of this fabric here. No, I'm not going to put elastic in this whole thing. Hopefully I can get just a little more water out of here. Otherwise I will need to fill it because I want to press this 
to make it nice and flat. Ease in some of this extra sweater that's stretched out. All right, and now to the other side. I don't usually pin this, but because you're on camera with me and I have to carry this to the sewing machine, I think it's the best route. So you can see this sweater knit stretched out quite a bit as I was moving and pressing. So let me just show you something. Do you see this? I just pulled this off of my iron. It just takes regular water. You just fill it to here. Well, there's a little line right here. So this is the water container. There's a filter right here. I don't have to do anything. I can use regular water. So I'll be right back. Okay. And by the way, I didn't even have to turn the iron off for that. I'll just throw this back on there. And it's like it never happened. Perfect. All right, it takes just a second for that to register. Not even a second. How do you like that? All right, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gonna steam press this sweater knit, when it's super stretchy like this, quite often you can press it back into place, which that's what I'm doing here. Okay, this next little section. So I'm easing that fabric back in, might be shrinking it just a little bit. Okay. I've seen prettier press jobs, but this will work. So notice the steam, look what's happening. It's shrinking this fabric back into place. That's the magic of steam and a good iron and then the tears clapper. Now look, this fits great. I'm not going to get too particular over some of these little bumps. They'll kind of blend in as I sew. All right. I feel like I'm getting a little spa bath over here with the steam. <laughs> about done on this other side. This was a pretty wide top that we made because I wanted it to be loose, maybe like a bathing suit cover up, but now it's going to be just a cute top to go with jeans. I still have enough fabric to make a tank top. Hate to waste any of those scraps, right? All right, now this pin I know I cannot press on. Some of them I can, some I can't. All 
All right, back to the end. This should be the last little pressing we have to do here. There's quite a bit at the sides. I could take in that seam a little bit if I want to, but you know what? I'm just going to press this in place. It's going to be fine. You can almost watch this fabric shrink up, can't you? here that's not the straightest line but you know what after I sew through this it's not gonna matter you won't even see it Let me get that pin out of there all right I think we're good now I'm gonna start at one of the side seams so why don't we just pick this one and I'm gonna put one big pin here to remind myself to leave this open to feed my elastic so what I want to do is I want to stitch one line very close to this edge to enclose that entire hem area. Then I'm going to stitch another line, however wide your elastic is. So my elastic's half inch wide, so I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch and stitch a second line because my elastic will be able to feed right through there. I'm making my casing. And then this down below here is going to be the pretty hem that just kind of loosely hangs and I don't have to worry about the weird, ugly, frayed look. This one was a double fold, which I could have done that. But for this, we have the extra fabric. Why not use it, right? So let's go ahead and stitch those lines. All right, as I'm going over there, I see a couple questions. No, Joanne, I did not draw. The glasses. Jeff will be up here in just a minute with us. I wanted to finish hemming this real quick, which will be done soon, and then he'll be up here. So if you have questions for him too, be sure to leave it in the comments. Uh, this fabric is a mix, Erin. I would call it a mutt. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything, including some metallic. All right, let's go sew, and then we'll bring Jeff up for our drawing, and I'll take your questions as I'm dropping stuff all over the studio. All right, I'm just using a gray thread for this, and it actually worked out pretty fine. I used it for hemming. You cannot see it at all. So there is my one pin that's right here, and that reminds me that I'm going to leave this little section open. So I'll start right at the side seam. I'll leave that pin in there. Not so over it, by the way. Just leave it in there. I'm going to use a straight stitch with a stitch length of 2.0. Now, when we use knits, quite often I tell you to use a zigzag stitch, right? But there's a ton of fabric here, so I don't have to worry about the stretching to put it on. I mean, there's enough fabric to put two of me in here, probably. So I'm just going to use a straight stitch. Let's get it rolling, because this fabric can definitely be a little fussy. moving the bottom fabric out of the way, making sure you're not stitching through both layers. That would be a big no-no. And also, as you're stitching, if for any reason your fabric starts to stretch out a little bit, I just showed you how to steam press it back into place. Just make sure you're not pulling the fabric if it's a loose sweater knit like this. And if you're really having a hard time, use a zigzag stitch. You won't be able to see it anyways, but by using a little bit longer stitch length, it rolls over the fabric pretty easily. I'm just trying to straighten out some of my press lines here. I'll bring you just a little closer here. By the way, while I'm sewing this, I see Jeff in the waiting room waiting to join you. So be sure to leave a comment and thank him for such an awesome giveaway. Or if you ended up buying the glasses or if you have the glasses, let him know how much you love them. 
you know, give him something to read while he's learning how to hem a sweater. <laughs> All right, we're all bowed around. Now, if you get a sweater knit with some lines, I'll tell you what, it sure made it easy to follow all this all the way around. A few little stripes. Okay, we're getting back to our original pin, which I'm still going to leave there because it's you know, when you start sewing, you can absolutely forget which side you started with, and then you close it up, and then you have to rip it out. So I want to leave enough opening here to slide my elastic through. So let's see, how much room do we need? About that. I'll give myself a little extra. All right. And now the last step is going to be to sew a second line where I have plenty of room to feed my elastic through but not too much. You don't want too much room because then what happens, your fabric will double over. So let's go with about right there. And I wonder, I know not everybody has the laser light, but this might be, for those of you that do, this would be a great place to use it. So I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll bring it in a different color. Whoop, don't get seasick. Kind of see the green. Let me go to the sub page and see. Nope, I think the white's the best. So I want to line up the grid a little bit bigger. I can see the edge of the grid right here, and I'm going to line that up as a guide. So that's on my fold of my fabric, or actually I'm going to line it up on my stitch line just in case my fold wasn't even. So there's my previous stitch line. All right, now this time I can just sew all the way around. So how far over is this? I would say just under an inch for my half inch elastic. It's about three quarters of an inch. Can you see that grid on there, by the way? It's pretty cool. It looks like it's part of the fabric, but it's not. All right, let's do this all the way around. somebody saying, are you finishing your UFO projects? I sure am. We could have a UFO project every day for the summer, and I probably wouldn't be finished with my UFO projects. I'm sure none of you are like that. So there's our two rows of stitching and a little hole to feed our elastic through. So for those of you that had to turn your volume up to hear any of that, I apologize. I didn't realize the speakers were off at this end. So hopefully you could read my words or just follow along. So our last step is to press this and in case you couldn't hear any of that i have a hole right here to feed my elastic through three quarters of an inch seam from here to here so the bottom one is all the way sewn this one has an opening and this bottom section is just going to be my bottom hem I'm just going to give it one more i like to give it a pressing after i've sewn you can see how it gets a little wavy i don't know if you can see that i want to stitch that back into place and also, if you did not hear me at the sewing machine, because I didn't have my microphone on, 
I think I see Jeff in the lobby. So make sure you leave him a comment and tell him how much, how grateful you are for the giveaway. And if you have a pair of the glasses, let him know how much you love them. All right, so we made it all the way around. Now this bottom part doesn't really need to be pressed. I'll leave it for now, but when I wash it later, I don't need a pressed crease right there. So here's my elastic. All right, slide this in. And I'm gonna put a pin at the end because this elastic technically could come undone. There, now it's good, nice and stuck. Don't even ask me what this is. I have no idea, I've had it for years. Probably bought it at a sewing show, <laughs> but it's really cool. So I'm gonna slide this through. All right, let's get through pulling it out the other end here. I just want to make sure the elastic doesn't twist as it goes in. Okay. I just made the cutest pair of jogger pants and this thing helped me to hem so quickly. Not hem, but finish the waist, I'm sorry, other end. All right, we are just about finished. All right, let's come out of... <laughs> come out, come out. I think somehow I got stuck in... Let me get this out of the seam. It's really funny. It got stuck in the extra fabric from the seam. So I'm just going to cut that fabric inside there. All right, here we go. All right, now I will just slowly work this through, the elastic through, but look at how cool the bottom hem is going to look. So my elastic will be here. This is all free. Now, when I put this on the dress form, this will be a blousant. The top will be a blousant. This will kind of fit at my waist, and I've got this whole extra area. How cute is that? So I'll keep playing with this, but let's go bring Jeff up to the party, and I want to see if you guys have any questions. Everybody's saying thank you, thank you. I agree, thank you. So <laughs> it doesn't get any bigger than that, Mari. I agree. So let's give a round of applause. That was an easy hem rate. I had to give you something for teaching. Now let's bring in what you're all waiting for, Jeff. Maybe. There hey, we Jeff. Are. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. Everybody is saying awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. So were you surprised when the Wolfpack just like showed up on a couple of your social pages? We surprised you to say thank you. I, that was very, very nice. Yeah, that was great. It's so great to hear from everybody. <laughs> someone said, someone said, are you ready for the Wolfpack Factor? And I said, okay, well, let's go for it. So every once in a while, I just give them a little hint. If you want some extra entries, go visit them over yeah. on Instagram, things yeah, like that. So, cool. so hopefully you woke up in the morning and you looked at your social page and went, oh, I'm so glad I did this awesome giveaway. <laughs> it was nice. Very nice. Of, of course. Really nice people, and so and thank you all for for your comments. It's it's all really really nice to to read. They're loving them. Susan says they love the glasses. Everybody's saying they love the glasses. So we have some time here, and I know some people wanted to ask questions, sure. and uh, I'm sure you just loved learning how to hem your next sweater. <laughs> you know, I was I was kind of mesmerized by that. I was I was watching that. I've never seen that before, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So for anyone who just joined us, and it's too late to enter, but you might be new to the party or you missed the show last week. So would you do us a favor and just give everyone one more quick tutorial of the glasses in case they wanted to know. Some people I know purchased them in April during your special sale. 
-hmm. Some said, I don't know, I want to wait till the contest to see if I win, but there's only going to be one out of what was the final. If you win today, you're going to be one out of 970. So wow. that's a lot of a lot of people want your glasses. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yes. So would you please give another tutorial of how they work and then we'll, and I'll go field the questions for you. Sure. So uh, so what I'm wearing, the it's obviously the name of the product is Craft Optics. It's a set of glasses. I'm going to take these off here and just kind of show you at the, um, the camera. It's a set of glasses. They're titanium frames. And in the frame, we install your prescription and we take care of that for you. So um, if you don't have a copy of your prescription, we actually will call your optometrist and get that for you. So the, 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 con the key concept here is that your, your vision is corrected here and then the magnifiers enhance it, okay? And magnify it double the size of what you're looking at. And then there's a bright, super bright light that attaches right between your eyes. So that's the, the, the overview of the, of the product. What, it's, what it does is it helps you obviously see, you know, in, incredible detail um, you have a light, you're, you, what, you're, what you're looking at is magnified and brightly lit without shadows. So you're able to see amazing detail and it also allows you to see from a nice comfortable posture. So if you can see, <laughs> you can see uh, Carolyn behind me at the machine, see how she's sitting. It's, it, the, the, there's a working distance built into the magnifiers that allows you to sit at a comfortable posture, takes a lot of pressure off of your back and neck. So it's really, um, it's it's really twofold. You, people people buy them for the vision because they want to see better. Uh, but what winds up happening is they realize that hey, this is you know I don't have those back aches and neck aches and headaches at the end of the day um, because I'm able to sit and work in a nice comfortable posture. So that's the the kind of quick and dirty overview. The light attaches right between your eyes. It's it's a it's got a rechargeable battery. I have that actually behind me, and it comes with um, comes in a nice. It's like this for traveling. You'll always have, you can have magnification and light with you every, you know, wherever you go, which is great. And then you just, when you put them on, you just kind of put it, you know, behind your head, make the, the wire goes behind you and you hang them around your neck. And when you're ready to go, you put them on. I'm wearing my other glasses right now. So I'll show you how that works later if, if anyone has any questions. But um, that's the, that's kind of the quick, uh, quick rundown. Did I cover, did I cover everything? You did. And you know what? I'm thinking I should have had these on. While I was trying to put the elastic in here, because now I lost my elastic. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you just have to be smarter than what you're working with. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, everyone is saying thank you, thank you. Okay, so I know some of you had questions. And yes, Jackie, it's Jeff, and it's very cool. Everybody's saying hi. Hi. Do you have any questions? Because this is your once-in-a-lifetime chance, not once-in-a-lifetime, but at least for the week. Uh, if you have questions for him. Yes, Chris, insurance. And I saw three questions about this. And insurance? And Judy asked too. You sure. mentioned something about an HSA or insurance. How does that work? Yep, so there are a couple things. Uh, so if you have a flexible spending account or health savings account, uh, those work with, uh, you can apply that, those funds toward craft optics. You can, um, some of those plans actually just have a, a MasterCard or Visa card associated with them and you can use them even online. We're a, an optical company, so it will, will automatically be approved. If you need to have your purchase reimbursed, uh, we'll give you whatever, you know, whatever um, invoice you need to, to, to do that. As far as insurance, you know, everyone's insurance uh, is different. And so we don't actually, we don't process the insurance ourselves, but if you have a plan that covers all or a portion of uh, a set of eyeglasses, uh, you know, some have it every year, every other year, some will provide a reimbursement up to a certain amount for the frame, whatever it is, uh, we'll give you whatever uh, invoice you need to um, uh, to get that reimbursement as well. So we don't process the insurance, but many plans cover some portion or all of uh, of your uh, vision needs. It just depends on on what you're what you have. And I apologize, I'm I'm regrowing my beard, and so I look like I. I just realized when you did the close up, I realized I got the beard going. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can we just wake you up? <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't like it, but it's, no, this is actually deliberate. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. So I have the website down below. You can check that out. Fashion Sewing Club members, uh, they are on, you get a discount as well. So don't forget about that. If you're a member, it'll probably pay, actually, it almost pays for your entire Fashion Sewing Club membership. So that's really awesome. Karen says, I want the glasses. Dolores, how do they order? 
Go to the website. Do they call you? What's the best? You can do either one. So if you're comfortable ordering online, you can do that. Um, the way it works, and it's pretty simple, you can go to our website and if you click on the products and just uh, pick the wow package is what this is. It's, that includes the light. Uh, and you can you can start the order process. It's very it's step by step, very simple uh, and easy to do. Um, when it comes to your prescription, you can have the you'll have the option of just either um, emailing a copy after you're done with the order. If you have a if you have a, a copy of it at home, take a picture of it and email it to us. Or even easier, just give us the name of your optometrist and we'll call uh, for the prescription. So that's the part that people usually get hung up on, and that's pretty straightforward. So. Uh, you'll see when you check out that that's easy. And also, I, I, I should recommend too that the uh, on our website there's a it's called a product wizard, and it's under the products menu as well. And that will walk you through all the options, and then at the end recommend a configuration for you. And you can actually now download that uh, and save a copy of the of the product recommendation. I, I strongly recommend doing that. It's, there's a little glitch at the end just where the price shows up weird, but uh, that's a that's a great place to to start because I think it really gets you thinking about how you want to uh, set everything up. Exactly. All right, Kelly has a question, and I can just answer no very simply because I've worn them a lot. But I'm going to let you explain this one. Are they heavy? Sure, we get that a lot, and they uh, one of the things I think I can say uh, pretty safely is that they look a lot heavier than they are. So they do look like they're heavy. There's just there's no getting around that. Um, but they weigh the total weight without the light is about 48 grams. That's with including the magnifiers and the, the, the frame and the prescriptions. We just uh, and on our way, I think it's on our YouTube page. We have a video where we weighed um, Ray-Ban sunglasses, which came in at about 42 grams. So it was surprisingly close to just a regular, you know, kind of a sturdy pair of uh, sunglasses. So they're much lighter than they than they look. It's really important that uh, let's see if I have. I'm going to grab a. a glasses here and while you're doing that i also want to remind them to put your cord in the back because if you don't they're like i screwed it up the first time if yeah. you watch the first videos, everyone does that yeah everyone does that we send them we send videos we send emails saying this is how you do it you it comes with it the chums uh, uh retainer here you just connect the wire to that to the back of the chum so you just connect it here and then you just then you put the whole thing behind your, your your back and then it's out of the way. So that's that's how you do that. Um, the the glasses we were talking about weight. It's it, it it's real important though that sometimes you may have a little um, you want to tweak the nose pad a little bit. But you see the nose pad it's it sort of hangs on your nose instead of sitting on two points. That makes it a lot more comfortable. So there are a lot of tweaks that you can do to make it uh, even more comfortable. All right, so, I got to. I should mention. I'm sorry. I, I should have. I, I I didn't mention. You know, if, if people feel they're too heavy, give us a call. We have a lot of way. You know, we have videos showing you how to make that tweak. And also, everyone should know we have a 45 day um, money back guarantee as well. So if you get these and you decide it's not for you, or if you get them, uh, you know, and you decide that uh, you picked a working distance for the optics that is too short and you want to be further away, we'll change all that at no charge during the 45 days. And if ultimately you say, hey, these aren't for me, uh, we'll give you a full refund, even if we put your prescription in. So, uh, we're, you know, as, as you, many of you know, we just finished our 13th, we celebrated our 13th anniversary. We've done this a long time. And our goal here, we're, we're not in it for, you know, the sprint. It's a marathon. We are, you know, in, in this for the long haul. And so we want to make sure that if somebody has our product, it's, it's, it's working for them. We don't want to stick anybody with something they're not going to use. And that's great. Karina says nothing wrong with your five o'clock shadow. You're on oh, you're you. on target for the fashion. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, do you ship to Canada? Yes, we do. It's in fact it's free shipping to Canada. So we do. Wow. That. Yeah. Even better. Uh, Nancy, this is a good question because that's all I use. These are like 1.25 yep. cheaters, and right. they're perfect. Yeah. So you can actually put a bifocal on mine, so I can look down at my 1.5. I can have this up or down and if i'm like this i can see you perfectly so yeah and even when they're down you can look above the magnifiers so when the magnifiers are down you can look over the top and still see through the clear part here's a here's kind of a uh this will give you an idea a close up here you see that how the bifocal is at the bottom and then the magnifiers flip up so if you, you just have your readers in the in the bottom of the frame so either the, the the thing to keep in mind is that a reading correction is a correction and so you want to have that in the frame still this is not a substitute for whatever you would need normally and, and here's I'm, i'll take my glasses off so i can show you so the reason is 
when you're wearing the glasses, you want to be able to see when you flip these up out of the way, you want to be able to see as you normally see. So if you normally would look down and you have your readers on, you want to have that reader in the frame as well. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. All right. Marsha has a question for you. I wear progressive. So which yep. part of the prescription is used or how does that yep. work? Yep. So the same, same uh, issue. I like, I wear these are progressives. My glasses have, and this isn't mine. These are mine, but uh, you put the near in the bottom is always in, the near correction is always in the bottom because of course you're looking down at your work and you want to flip the magnifiers up and still see what you're doing. The, the, where, where things might vary a little bit is in what we put in the upper part of the frame. And when you go through the product wizard on our site, you can, or just obviously give us a call. We can walk you through that. But so the bottom part is always a given, no matter what, uh, that's, that's going to be your near correction. What we do sometimes talk about is what do you want to see when you look above the magnifiers? So the vast majority of people uh, want to, they, they'll, they'll do work and they say, well, I watch TV or I have the TV on. I want to once in a while look around and, and you know, watch, see the TV. So of course we put your distance correction in the upper part. Um, if the, it, it, and over the pandemic, what happened was a lot of people started doing what, what we're doing now is watching the screen, watching instructions on a screen and they're doing their work while looking at uh, a course. And it, that being the case, sometimes that distance correction isn't right. What they need is the intermediate, you know, uh, correction in the upper part of the frame so they can see their computer screen or their or their iPad or whatever they're they're working on. And so in that case, we could put your intermediate in the upper part. I don't want to get too deep into that. It's, it's pretty simple. It's it, where we just ask you, what is it that you want to see? Do you want to see your computer screen when you look above the magnifiers or do you want to see the TV? Those are kind of the two most common uh, you know, questions we ask. And, and when you go through the product wizard, uh, it actually will specifically ask you those questions as well. Very helpful. All right. Mary Ellen is, has a question. How much are they? Is there a base price? Do you have different versions? I know we're giving, you're giving away the wow package, which is yeah. the wow. Yeah. The whole, the whole, the whole, so the glasses, these are uh, our normal price uh, undiscounted. This is, these are 524. That includes your prescription. And so it doesn't matter uh, what your prescription is, it's uh, it's a it's a fixed price. And it's the same for reader. So whatever correction is in here, that's a that that covers everything. If you if you some people wear contact lenses and they have multifocal contact lenses and they just need clear lenses, it's a little bit less. Um, but basically, five twenty four is everything. Uh, the light is two ninety nine, which you'll see, which I have here, and there's a rechargeable battery that's that's attached. So the the total retail price is normally eight twenty three. We usually have some kind of um, uh, you know, promotion going on. And so you'll, it's a little bit less. And then of course, um, subscribers to, uh, to the, to the sewing group, uh, have an even better, better than what we, what's ever published. So. Well, first of all, thank you for being so good to the fashion sewing club. I always, the whole purpose of the fashion sewing club is just to hang out and sew. And it, when they get discounts like that, it pays for their whole membership. Sure, so oh, cool. that's, that's like buy a pair of glasses, get a free membership for a year. How yeah. do you like that? <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right. Any more questions for Jeff? Otherwise we're going to do a drawing, but Jeff is also offering one other thing if you're watching live. So let me bring up what you need to say. You know, there's going to be a giveaway for all of you here. Mm -hmm. They're not a full pair of glasses, though. You're giving yeah. away a gift certificate. Do you want to tell them what you're giving? Yep, we have. Uh, so for, for people here, and I think we that's what we, we decided for people here on the uh, live uh, live show, uh, a $50 coupon toward uh, your set of craft optics. But that would be on top of any um, any promotion that we run. So we never do that. Uh, that is we're doing it for the first time right here, actually. <laughs> so, uh, so we never combine deals, but this, in this case, uh, one lucky person who's interested in getting craft optics will save $50 on top of whatever. Uh, wow. So that means if you're a fashion sewing club member on top of that, yeah. you will not only get your discount in the fashion sewing club, you will also get $50. If you're not in the fashion sewing club, don't worry. You can still win. All you have to do is leave a comment below and let me make sure I'm starting to gather the comments. Okay, we're we're gathering the comments. You have to write hashtag Wolfpack. Has to be capital letters, all one word. I'll give you a few minutes to get that in here. Uh, you all got, it looks like you guys, you've been here before. You know how we do this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm watching, I'm watching this now. This is fascinating. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. So we can see your comments on Twitter. Uh, not Twitter. Twitter does not count for this. But uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. If you put hashtag Wolfpack, you are going into the my little uh, contest 
software and I'm watching it all gather. Entries are just like rolling in 25, 26, 27, as fast as I can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hey, I just have to tell you, I had a couple guys here. Fishing season is on now. And mm. so while they were here yesterday, I was showing them the glasses and all my friends are about my age, maybe a little older. I'll go with that. <laughs> and they were like, holy cow. I told them, you need these for fishing. You can tie lines. I, and I I asked them to tell me what their favorite part was. Now, I mine are 1.25, but a lot of them, one of them wore actual prescription glasses. Still, you put them on with the magnifier and the light. They said the light, hands down, makes the biggest difference ever. Yeah. Yeah, it, we, we hear, you know, it's funny because a lot of people will say, eh, I have light, you know, and, and I know you have light, but I know, you know, our background's surgery and dentistry. And so we, we definitely understand how that light impacts your vision and it eliminates all the shadows. And it's, it's a, the, the combination of the two is really, uh, it, it, it really is sort of a quantum level leap from just the magnification alone. So when you, you know, you take one step with the magnifiers and another huge step with the light combined, um, I, I think people are, I think universally very surprised when they get them and, and see how nice that light is. In fact, I think if I probably can count on maybe one hand, possibly two in the last 13 years of, of how many lights actually someone bought and returned. It's, it's, it's almost, it almost never happens. If it does, it's usually a jeweler who has some specialized lighting or something at their, at their workbench, you know, that kind of thing. But it's mm -hmm. pretty, it's really rare. Well, I'll tell you what, I did think I had any need for them when I talked to you. I'm like, those are cool. I could try them. I'll use them for hand beating. And you said, no, try them for sewing. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And yeah. then I got them. I'm like, these are amazing. So now I use them for beading, for sewing, for doing my nails. Yeah. Um, and the list is on and on. And then once you get used to it, it's hard not to have them. And I love the curing case because then I can take it with me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's, I think I maybe mentioned the last time we don't, um, we don't talk about that. We should talk about that more because I was just at a show this past weekend and it was, uh, it was an interesting group. It was miniatures. I don't know if you've, if you've ever, you know, dollhouse miniatures, there's a whole world out oh, there. Really? Oh, it's just, it's from all over the world. People are at this show in Chicago and they, and they took, uh, you know, had a number of days of classes before the actual conference uh, show started, trade show started. And people were in classes and I saw all of our, you know, a bunch of our old customers who, you know, had their case, had the glasses with them and said, oh my God, I, you know, in hotel rooms, they're trying to, you know, work on miniatures. Uh, the lighting is terrible. And they said, this is, you know, with these things I was able to do, you know, take my classes and see everything. And they saw other people wearing them. It was pretty interesting. So we should talk more about that because pe a lot of our customers take them with them all, you know, on planes and trains and automobiles. I mean, it's really... <laughs> Yeah, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Don't forget boats. I don't forget boats. <laughs> <laughs> any, any form of transportation. Planes, trains, and automobiles. All right, keep your comments coming because we're going to do the drawing in just a second. But here we go. Voila, she's finished. And now I have like a cute elastic casing. I can wear this with my skinny jeans and with my cool glasses. My top is finished. So how cute is that? Cool. Oh, now I'm ready to go. All right. So <laughs> it looks like, wow, a lot of people put to effect. We're over 70. So here, this is how it's going to work. We're going to do a drawing first for the gift certificate. Now, then we'll do the drawing from all of the entries, which I've already compiled from the official entry and all of your extras. If for any reason, the person that wins the gift card wins the full blown wow package, First off, you need to go buy a lottery ticket today. Secondly, <laughs> I will redraw the gift certificate, okay? So if for any reason, I'm going to draw the gift certificate first. But if you win both, the gift certificate's going to someone else. I think that sounds fair. <laughs> that sounds fair. Everybody's saying Wolfpack. Oh, thanks, Trisha. I think it's cute, too. I'm all ready to wear it. I have something to wear this afternoon. So let me share my screen. Let's do this amazing drawing for the gift card. Here we go. All right, you all ready? <laughs> Let's draw the winner. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Deb. All right. Deb 
Watson. Ooh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, the graphics on this. This is cool. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Deb, okay. you won a $50 gift card. So, Deb, what I need you to do is uh, email me, and I can forward you over to Jeff, okay? Yep. So that if you perfect. email me, info at AngelaWolf.com, I think I actually have your email, but uh, just in case, if you could email me, info at AngelaWolf.com, that will actually, um, I can send you over to Jeff and get your gift card. Yep, so, we'll, and we'll email that over to you once we get it, so we'll take care of that today. <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so now I think everybody, like, even if they didn't want to sew a sweater, they had to at the beginning. <laughs> I had to finish my UFO project, and I think it turned out pretty darn cute. But now somebody's going to win this amazing wow package, and we cannot thank you enough for such an awesome giveaway. Oh, there's Deb. Hey, Deb. Hey, Deb. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, now let's draw. For the, the next one isn't quite as uh, graphic-y beautiful because it's not alive, but let me uh, bring up the screen of who is the winner. Draw one winner. I have all the extra entries in there. Okay, everybody says their fingers are crossed. Congrats. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think I recognize this name. I don't think I do. I know I do. And I think they're actually on here today with us. The winner of the wow package is, oops, why is it doing that? Hold on. <laughs> I'm making you wait. Hold on. Why? Come on. Darlene Deck. Woo, All Darlene. Right, Darlene. Congratulations. 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 Just I'm write this down. The wow pack. Yeah, you better write it down because you'll end up with 20 people calling saying they won. No, yeah, I'm just really. <laughs> the Wolf Pack would never do that. Everybody's <laughs> saying, Congrats, Darlene. Wow, how that's cool. Darlene, right, Darlene is on every week. I wonder how many times you shared it. Congratulations. <laughs> Everybody's saying, Hello, congrats, Darlene. Well, this has just been yeah. an absolute fantastic giveaway. That's Fantastic. A, that's terrific. And if, if if she can do it, Darlene can do the same thing, email you and you send it, then we'll 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 follow up with her and, and get her set up. Definitely. This is amazing. So Jeff, what shows do you have coming up if somebody wants to come to your booth and Boy. say hi? Yeah, we have uh, uh you know what? I <laughs> gotta look at our own, I'm gonna look at my page. Uh you know, we just we only have a there's a beat show in Madison coming up right now, and other than that, at the end of uh or at the beginning of June. <clears throat> the next, you know, we really don't have anything going on until the fall. And I probably, you know, I'll probably see you in Houston. That's probably the next big one. We, uh, what else is going on in the fall? We're, we're kind of planning over the summer which ones we're going to add. So we're not out and about too often until the fall. Okay, that sounds good. Well, this was a great opportunity and they can watch the replay. There's Darlene. She said yeah. she's off to buy a lottery. Yeah, 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 she, <laughs> <definitely>. <laughs> Darlene, congratulations. Let me see. I didn't even see. I think you had left a comment on yours. Let me just check here. Hold on a second. If it stayed up here. Darlene, did you leave a comment on here saying that you just had eye surgery? Oh, I saw. I think I saw something go by. Was that, was that Darlene? Yeah, Darlene. Did, Darlene, did you just say, I think she said she had some eye surgeries. This was in the comments on her mm -hmm. contest. I just brought it up after it draws the winner, uh, that this would be a, a lifesaver for her. So sure. this is going to be a great test for you, Darlene. I'm very excited. Yeah. And and I think the question was, what? how would she set the glasses up? I, I kind of saw it go by as we were talking. And and if that's the case, don't worry. We'll, we'll when we, uh, Lynn, uh, who was on last time with us, um, who's our optician, will give you a call and we'll go over, we'll walk you through everything. So you'll, I think you'll, you'll feel confident knowing what you're getting. And also, uh, Darlene, if you want to do the, um, the product wizard as well on our website, that's a, that's a good start too. That's awesome. Uh, Deb bought her lottery ticket this morning. Well, both <laughs> you girls are pretty lucky. Yeah, <laughs> so Jeff, thank you so much. I have left uh, our videos up on my blog, uh, which yeah. they people can go back and watch. They can go back and watch the videos. Yeah. We appreciate this so much, and I am so excited. 
And I cannot wait to see how Darlene loves her yeah. new glasses. Deb, when you get yours and everybody else, did anyone else? I saw a lot of comments of people that took advantage of your your anniversary sale already. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And if anybody has the glasses, send pictures to us. We, or if anyone would like to be a uh, if you see our customer corner, we do profiles of of, uh, of our customers. Be happy to you know to write about your stuff if you're interested. Uh, but we love to see action photos. That's always a lot of fun or videos even. Okay, so the challenge to the Wolfpack is, if you have these glasses, send Jeff a video or a screenshot or a photo and tell them what you're using them for. Why not? Wow. And I know many of you actually, many of the Wolfpack have small businesses that they run. What a great way to get your face shown or yeah. just show that you're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> well, thank you again. And I saw a lot of people saying in here, say hi to Lynn. Oh, thanks. I will. I will send her everyone's regards for sure. Oh, here, Joanna says, Darlene, if you don't want them, I'll take them. That's, that's so nice of you. <laughs> I agree, Stacy. Definitely. That's great. Oh, and that's just, so just, you know, if you guys, if, you know, I know you lots of questions. If uh, we have videos on our website and our FAQ section on our website, but even easier, just call us. You'll see it at, at our, our, our main number. And uh, and Lynn will will walk you through any question you have. I mean, we've, you know, she's probably heard it all. So Darlene, don't have a heart attack. We, Jeff yeah, can no. only hold you with your eyes, not your heart. <laughs> right. Keep breathing. Relax. Keep breathing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you. Thank Lynn. Thank you. Uh, this was a lot of fun and we just appreciate it so much. And you know what? Thank you for still offering a discount to the Fashion Sewing Club. for. Okay. So if you're looking at the glasses, pretty much it covers your membership for the year. Uh, it's just in the club. That's the code. It's just for members only. And he's continuing that on. So you thank bet. you for that as well. You bet. Thank you so much. You guys, everyone is so nice. Really appreciate it. And, and just, this is this has been a lot of fun. All right. Uh, see you later. Thank Take you again. Care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.